Hey everyone, welcome to this Meet the Speaker series. I'm here today with Daniel Christian. How are you doing, Daniel? I am doing good. How are you doing? Pretty good, except it's a bit cold outside. Uh, and as you can see, we're really in the elements. We are. <laughs> so, can you please introduce yourself really quick? Sure. So, uh, my name is Daniel Christian. Um, I am a Microsoft MVP and I focus on business apps and business solutions. My, my personal uh, area of interest has always been on uh, Power Apps, Flow, uh, Power BI, and basically any data connectors I can get <laughs> my hands on, uh, that's what I do. Uh, my, my personal interests are always around you know, data connections to SharePoint and Azure SQL, and recently it has been a lot with cognitive services to see use AI and machine learning. To enhance all of that. Exactly. How long you've been playing with SharePoint or fighting with SharePoint, depending on oh how boy. you look at it? <laughs> oh, that brings back some memories. So my <laughs> first SharePoint ever was SharePoint 2003. It was. Wow. Uh, it wasn't even SharePoint Server at that time. It was SharePoint Portal. Um, but that was. You know, now that I sit back and I look at it and I kind of reminisce, I have some hard eggs too at that time. <laughs> I said, I, I firsthand noticed the evolution of SharePoint. Yeah. And it has grown so much from what it was to what it is today. And then now with the availability of SharePoint Online, people don't have to worry about standing up farms anymore, supporting it. You know, just you can go ahead set up a subscription, be a, you know, either an enterprise side or a business side, get your account, and in minutes, you can have your SharePoint site. Yeah. And that's something you could not do before, and you can do that now. So I have seen SharePoint evolve and grow myself, and I'm so happy where we are today, because 15 years ago, it was, it was difficult. I mean, you've seen it before, InfoPath and Designer were there, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> How could you even do stuff in 2003? Or you uh, couldn't. I, you couldn't. Code? I, I personally jumped into uh, InfoPath and SharePoint Designer back in uh, SharePoint Server 2007. Okay. That's when I really got into it. Um, you know, I loved the InfoPath and SharePoint Designer growth in the like, SharePoint 2010 and then 2013. Those were huge. Yeah. I mean, even you know, SharePoint itself in back in uh, with business data connectivity services. You know, when 2010 and 2013 came around, not only could I make a BDC or BCS connection. But I can write back to it. Oh, that was huge. <laughs> that was huge. No and more APIs to call. Nothing. No more SQL queries to build. And I can write back to SQL too. I can do reporting <laughs> and everything. That was huge. But uh, you know, that was, that was still on-prem days. But SharePoint Online just makes things a lot easier. And now with the integration of Power Apps and Flow and Power BI, and you know, th that was another thing because I was I was a little apprehensive about Power Apps and Flow. I'll be I'll be honest about that. Uh, because I was a hardcore InfoPath and SharePoint designer user. To some extent, I, I still have to because there's some legacy stuff over there. Yeah. And when the you know it came out that uh, Power Apps and Flow was a successor, I was I was c cautiously optimistic. <laughs> but I did a lot of proof of concepts for myself first. Yeah. You know, I said that I, I can take a, a fairly advanced, you know, m medium to advanced InfoPath and SharePoint designer solutions, and to my surprise, I could rebuild them in Power Apps and Flow. And not only could I rebuild it, I could take it to the next level. Because now I can make mobile apps out of it. Yeah. I can make data connections to anything, not just Outlook, but to Gmail. And inside was, and outside pre Inside and outside. So I, I then I when I when I was so impressed with it, I said, I am, I'm gonna just take all the time I have to you know, tell the entire world. <laughs> and that's what actually made me an MVP too. My MVP status is in business solutions. When did you I, get your MVP? Two years ago. Two years ago, nice. Yeah, uh, I was I was nominated by people, specific people from the Power Apps team. Uh, they have nominated me, and then lo and behold, I just you know became an MVP. And to this day, that's my goal. I my goal is to convince each and every person, <laughs> especially SharePoint people, that if you're not using Power Apps, if you're not using customized forms, guys, just get on it, start playing with it, because you have no idea what you're missing. It's going to make your life so much easier. Yeah, going back to 2003. You're in IT before playing with SharePoint, right? I was. What so. were you doing before SharePoint? <laughs> so <laughs> I was a, uh, well, I spent the first, I would say, six months of my life racking and stacking servers three stories underground. That's all <laughs> I did, racking and stacking servers. Um, and then I had the passion for file servers. And my manager at that time realized that, you know, this guy has a little passion for that. So that's all I did. I used to support file servers. You know, they, we would have files located on the file servers, you know, document libraries, and I would create document libraries for people and you know you know go ahead and break permissions create <laughs> permissions for that and so my manager at that time said hey you know file servers 
here, I'm going to give you the booklet of how to on SharePoint, and you take over SharePoint 2003 because it's you know, a web-based file server. And that's basically how it started. I didn't make the decision. The manager said, oh, he knows file servers. Yeah. Let him do SharePoint too. Well, was it a proper book written by somebody? I, you know, it was just a how-to book at that time. I can't even remember was like who the, the, the author the was. Read me and it was <laughs> exactly the SharePoint for dummies kind of a book thing. <laughs> Isn't it still funny that people still see, some people still see SharePoint as a file server on the web? Uh, yeah, I know. Even 15 years later, something's changed. Some things don't change, change at all. And that's, you know, that's what I love about the whole you know, collaboration of Office 365 these days too, is that don't just think of SharePoint as a file server. Yeah. You know, there's, there's OneDrive for that. There's, if you want to put videos, well, there's videos for that. You know, SharePoint is a base, fundamental, really strong platform. But I tell people that don't misunderstand. There's other things that you want to all leverage in over there. I mean, Microsoft Teams is a yeah. fantastic example for that too is I tell, don't get scared of it, start playing with it, start going ahead and pulling all these other entities in because you have no idea what you're missing. You know, just don't use yeah. SharePoint for everything. I mean, you can, you, you you, can, you're missing out on a whole bunch of things. And you've probably seen people use SharePoint for everything, even when oh, they should Oh yeah, <laughs> for everything. I mean, you know, especially one of my personal favorites is, you know, they'll go ahead and, you know, still use heavy, on-premise people will use heavy Excel with power pivots. Excel spreadsheets that are 50 meg in size. Ooh. I have seen that to heavy power pivoting and on that. And I'm t I start talking to people, say, have you looked at Power BI? Oh, and by the way, now Power BI integrates fully with SharePoint as well. And it is so much more easier. The Power BI desktop is free. You don't have to buy it. It's all easier. You can go ahead and publish it straight away, pull that into SharePoint. And it's, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's just It just start. works. And it works, yeah. The <laughs> licensing is all there. It's taken care of. It's easy. You don't have to install anything, set up another farm, you know, you just go ahead and if you've got granular permissions, you know, tell your Office 365 admin, say, just go ahead and hit that little trigger <laughs> and just turn it on and it just starts working. Life is so much more easier these days than what it was 15 yes, years ago. Week. It just is. Quick question for you. Yeah. SharePoint conference, have you attended any of them in the past or? So I have, my, my first and last SharePoint conference was Sh the, the SharePoint conference in 2014. That was the first the one I attended. Venetian. At the Yeah. So it was interesting because I, I, that's why I said it. That was the first one and then that was the last wow. one. Um, so at that time, I was super stoked about SharePoint. I went ahead and attended the conference. You know, got, it was the first time I actually got to shake hands with Bill Baer. <laughs> I'll be honest, I did not wash my hands for the rest of the day. <laughs> I was so excited that I washed my hands with Bill Baer over there. And yeah. I was like, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to wash my hands, but then I did wash my hands. Was, Sorry, Bill, I had to Sorry, wash Bill. my hands. Uh, but I was so excited about that. Uh, but I didn't attend anything else because, you know, SharePoint conference basically took a know, break, took a break. Uh, but then that's what I love about it, because not only am I attending it, but this is the first time I get to speak over there, too. So I am super stoked about this. I'm still geeking out because, you know, in my mind, I still think I'm going to go to SharePoint conference. I'm going to shake the hands of Bill Baird. I'm going to shake the hands of, you know, all these other people over here. I'm geeking out that I'm standing here talking to you, <laughs> you know. And so it's just, it's, it's going to be a fantastic thing to go over there as an MVP and go talk about it, but just tell people that, hey, I've used it, SharePoint Online is so neat, it has all this integration. And I tell people that if, you know, if you're ready for an upgrade, if you're even thinking about 2019, just stop, try online first. Maybe that's going to save you so much more time, or maybe do a hybrid. There is some content that has to stay on-prem, let it stay on-prem, but still go ahead and do the hybrid integrations over there because you can integrate search, you can integrate OneDrive. Yeah. You know, I, I tell people, keep your options open and, and think big. Just don't think small anymore. What are you talking about in Vegas? What am I talking about? So one of my favorite uh, all-time um, topics is the one-stop shop for social media communication. Uh, so what I've done is actually, and I'm not going to give out all the secrets yet, <laughs> but through a SharePoint list, I've built a customized form, and through that customized form, which is Power Apps, uh, you build Of course. It. Yep, you have to. With Power Apps, I've gone ahead and um, connected it with Flow. I've also connected with Cognitive Services, uh, such that now when somebody goes ahead and, you know, it, it say you are in the communications department or the you know, advertising department, now with one central place, which is with SharePoint and Power Apps, you can go ahead and put in a social media notification and it can go out to all forms of notifications which you have data connections available. And that's it. I'm not going to share all the secrets over I there. I think you, I need that. I'll need to find a way to grab the code. You need to attend code. my session because <laughs> I'm taking care of governance. I'm taking care of, hey, is this information even good? Is there anything wrong? Is, there, is it a, 
are legitimate information or is this PG-13 okay. or R-rated? It goes through all of that using AI I'll and machine learning. I'll so send my marketing guys to your session as well. You should, <laughs> you should. I don't want to share all the secrets, but I'm excited. So Oop. Don't worry about it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been great talking to you. Thank you. And looking forward to seeing you in Vegas in thank only you. a few months. Same here. It's coming on fast. See you guys, right? Bye. See you there.